I stack up against a former autocross national champion? Well, I'm slower of course, but let's see where I'm slower. I overlaid both my lap and Bill's lap to compare where he's faster or slower than me. Bill is a bit more aggressive and makes the hard left at a higher speed. This is a first gear full throttle blast. Bill stays in first gear a little bit longer while I short shifted just a little bit. Oh hey, that's me. As we reach the tight turnaround, Bill gets the car rotated a little bit earlier than I do. He also maintains about two to three mile per hour more in that same turn. In the rest of this middle section, Bill carries a lot more speed than I do. is a section where I lost a lot of time. I slowed down a little bit more to make this left, but over slowed the car. Bill carried eight miles per hour more in that turn and leaps ahead about half a second. In this last section, both of us were about equal time-wise. Bill has more corner entry and mid-corner speed, but gets on the gas a little bit too soon. As a result, he has to make a big steering correction to keep the car from spinning. Although to his credit, he didn't really lift. I got on the gas a little bit later, but I didn't break the rear end loose. So the speed carried through the finish line was the same. The GPS is a little bit laggy, but we were both going over 70 miles per hour through the lights. So I got gapped by about one and a half seconds. Yeah, it hurts, but it happens. But I don't really mind because that just means my car has the potential to be that much faster. There's always something to learn from their driving style to mine. And this last clip is Bill's run from a helmet cam, so enjoy. Enjoy. 